Hey, I'm back, and I'm going to do a tutorial. Um, the hairstyle that I had in my one-year video, people asked if I could do that tutorial, and I said I was going to do a tutorial, and I will, um, just not today. Um, I actually found another uh, protective hairstyle that I like, and I'm going to be doing a tutorial on that today. It's similar um, in concept to the one in my other video, or in my one year video. So I'm going to be showing you this one and then whenever I do my dry braid out then I'll be doing that hairstyle from the one year video. Okay, <laughs> I feel it works better on a dry braid out because my hair is more stretched out. Um, I guess I could do a length check really quick at the back. My hair comes to just past my collarbone at the back, um, see at the front or on the side, comes just below my chin to my neck, um, at the top, is that long, and the front for some reason is always shorter than the rest of my hair, I don't know why, I need to figure out why, but it goes down to about my lip. So as you can see my hair shrinks a ginormous amount. But um what I like, this is basically look. like um an around the head French roll, if that makes sense. Um I decided to go with the side part, which I've already done. And um basically you're just gonna roll the hair all the way around and just tuck and pin as you go. So basically the only thing you're gonna need for this tutorial are a million bobby pins. Um okay so I'm gonna start with this side first. I'm going to pin it. I'm trying to learn how to do more protective styles, especially in the winter. Um, in Texas, it is about 60 degrees right now, so it's not really cold, but it's extremely dry. So I'm still trying to learn how to um, find styles to protect my ends. And as I go towards the back of my head, I'm going to grab more hair from the top and continue to roll. Oops. And then as I get further, I'm going to pin again. I started pinning as I go recently. Uh, whenever I tried to do this style in the past, I would just roll it all the way to the back. And whenever I would start to pin, the sections at the front would become unraveled. So, pin this section too. And then as I get to the back, I'm not going to finish that part just yet. I'm just going to use a clip to hold it there until I come back. So then I'm going to go and start on this side. So, start the roll. Let's see. I don't like to do it too tight. Because I still like for you to be able to see my texture. And instead of going down like this, I like to go almost across my head. Um, I think it just looks really nice like that. Okay, so now I'm going to pin. And then continue to roll, grabbing hair as I go along. in here too. Basically just seal and uh, wherever you think it needs to be pinned then go ahead and 
place a, a bobby pin there. Might have to put two. Oops. Okay. And now continuing to roll. So as I get towards the back, I'm going to pin again. Unclip this part and let's see. Basically, all I'm going to do so you guys can see, I'm just going to take my hair and twist, take the other side while I'm still holding this side, twist. And then take what's left and just fold it over. Just tucking my ends in. Just tuck, 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 tuck. Then I'm going to take my bobby pins and just bobby pin where I see necessary. is my, I guess you could say, new protective style. It does look kind of old-fashioned, but I like it. And I hope you guys liked it, too. I'm going to do a quick turnaround so you guys can see the whole thing. Do you see it? I don't know if you did. I'll do it again. So here's the back. Here's the side of it. And the other side. And, yeah. That is it, and I'm headed out the door now, and I will see you guys in another tutorial.